let's start talking about helium, the next item on the periodic table. We have to continue to think outside the box. What's in the box? This old atom. Protons, neutrons, electrons. We're going to have to think about replacing this geometry with the correct geometry. And we're going to do that with the key ring atom. Now, as you show how the old atom was put together for helium, you would have two protons, two neutrons, two electrons. Protons are supposed to have a positive charge. Neutrons are supposed to have uh, a neutral charge. And the electrons are supposed to have a negative charge. At the core, you would stick two protons together plus two neutrons. Now let's think about that a little bit. If you have two positive charged items, what are positives supposed to do? Are they supposed to stick together? No, positive is supposed to blow apart. So in theory, the atoms shouldn't stick together. Then you have neutral charges that aren't supposed to stick to anything. They stick to the positive charges. Now, scientists call this magic that's supposed to hold this together strong force. So that's what's supposed to hold the core together, strong force. Doesn't make sense, but that's what they call it. Now, since these are negative charges, they are supposed to stick uh, to the positive charges. Well, in theory, if you think about that, it's supposed to and just stick like that, but they don't. They're supposed to rotate and form this shell, spinning at the speed of light, the shell outside of the core. Now, let me show you some geometry that's way better than this. Now, as we continue on, before we showed you, we had two key rings on our key keychain. We had two more key rings, which is what we do here to our atom here. We added two more uh, proton rings. So now we have four proton rings in our atom. This is the core. And then to fill in the shell, you take the electron rings, put them in each of their grooves, like so. Fill them all the way in until you have this here, an all-particle atom. So at the core, you have your four proton rings, and your shell is filled in with all-particles electron rings. This satisfies what scientists see. All right, scientists know in helium, there are four logical units at the core, like both these have, and then there is a shell that's formed around the core. This atom holds together on its own. This atom needs magical forces. Strong force, electromagnetic force. If you want to believe in forces, you can stay in the box. Remember, Physics and chemistry are easy with the correct geometry.